Hi everybody. It is time for one more daily pattern. Today's pattern is called Floral Waves by Svetlana Krasnobe. And the step out was done by Nicole Dreyer, um, which means that she found this uh, pattern somewhere on the internet and, and deconstructed it herself. Um, this looks like a really fun one. Sort of organic. Uh, it'll do a ribbon-like shape. However, sort of a, a, a curvy S with uh, another one right next to it. Pretty, pretty small, relatively thin. Inside the the inner curve of each of these curves on either side, you'll put a little ball, one side then the other, right? And then around those little balls, you'll create these petals. All right, pe petals, balls, oops. Can you see glare? Glare, I hate the glare. Ah. Okay, sorry, no natural light so I can't rely on that for you guys to be able to see. I have to have my all my lights on. And that causes glare. All right, so uh, that was that step. And then after you have all your little flowers on, then you'll go back and you'll aura or echo the ribbon. And you do it the same number of times. So however many times you decide to do this, you can just do it two or three or four, however many times you decide to do this line. Once you've made that decision, do the same number of lines on both sides so that it looks even. And then you just do some shading. See, like that. Isn't that pretty? And then here she shows it in a little tile with some other tangles and you know this is Nicole's tile because she's got these little these little eyeballs there's the little eyeballs there there's some there she likes this little caviar eyeball thing you know that's Nicole's tile anyway uh, we're gonna give this a go see what we can do with it um, Clearly the best way to get the most out of it is going to be to, to do it on the diagonal. Um, if you watched yesterday's uh, video, yesterday's pattern, you'll know that I colored in some of it with my Sharpie pen because I wanted a thicker nib and I didn't happen to have a thicker one near me. So I used the Sharpie pen which was, which was nearby. It, you can see how it bled through my paper. Can you see that? It bled through the paper. So that's why I don't usually use these. And I really don't, I shouldn't even have it here with my rest of my drawing stuff. I just shouldn't. I should put it aside. I should put it somewhere else. Um, so I did go and, and find my larger nibbed. Uh, this one happens to be a Prismacolor Premier 05. So now I do have a better one to color in if I ever decide to color in up here in my little drawer. Just an FYI for you. I don't know why I needed to share that. but um, I am going to put myself a border and I'm just going to have just going to draw it in. And you know what? I think I'm going to draw it in with my larger pen. Why not? Make a nice bold border. Like that. That's cute. There we go. All right, so we're gonna make sort of an S shape going across our tile. Um, I'm just gonna do it 
smack dab in the middle. What the heck? Like that. Don't usually divide my tile exactly in half like that, but since it's a wavy and not just a straight line, I think it looks okay. And it'll be a little off to one side because that's the way I'm drawing the so it's not exactly in half. Yeah, that's my. Okay, so then the next thing is the little balls, right? Yes. And I'm going to leave a little tiny bit of white so they have a, a tiny little bit of. I'm going to go like that, and they need to be filled in, and I'm going to leave just a little highlight on them. So I'm actually going to draw the highlight in where I want it, so I don't forget to leave it. And then I'll color around that spot. And remember, if you ever do this, zoom in. If you ever do this and leave a, a highlight spot, it looks bigger right now than it actually is because your eye, on this one right now, your eye is seeing this and it's saying that there's a big spot right there because it it's counting. For some reason, the way it, it, it is when it's not filled in, your eye is counting that line, the outside of this line here, as part of this. But as soon as you fill it in, your eye then only includes the inside, so that thickness of your pen doesn't count as as part of it. See, watch this. I'm not going in anywhere inside where I already drew, but as soon as I fill that in more, that dot looks smaller than it was. It's just a weird optical illusion thingy. So you have to remember to draw those circles a little bit bigger than you think you want them because your eye is going to immediately close up that hole and make the hole look smaller as soon as you fill in with the dark. I have no idea why it does that. I mean, it's just the weirdest thing. But I've, I've learned, I used to draw that circle much smaller and then I would end up with like no little highlight because I made the, that circle too, too small to start with. Just, I don't know, it's a trick of the eye. So you just need to draw it bigger. And, and you know, if you draw it too big, and it turns out it is actually bigger than you want, you can always fill in around it. Uh, better to be too big than to be too small. Okay. So I'm going to zoom back out again. Just a, a little weird. Knocked. Okay, so then we're going to fill these in with petal-like shapes. And I'm going to do them. So I'm going to do them from the, the my left to my right. Like that. Some of them are bigger than others. That's okay. Like that. 
and turn it and I'm going to go the other way do the other side okay Like that. Cute, huh? Not all my little flowers are the same size. I see that this one is considerably smaller than these two. That's okay with me. I don't really care. All right, so now we're going to aura the ribbon part. And I'm gonna do maybe three more lines. Any more to one, two, one, two, three, four. I think that's too many for mine. I'm just going to do three. And do one, two, three, one, two, three. Like that. And here will be one, two, three, and one, two, three. And then I'm going to turn it, and I'm going to do the same on the other side. One, two, three. That's all there is to that, isn't it? <clears throat> I like it. Of course, I can't just leave my tile like that. I, I mean, I suppose I could. I could be done, shade it, and be finished. But, oh, no, that would be far too simple. <clears throat> I'm going to do some more petal shapes or... Maybe I'll do another another ribbon, but coming like that. And like like that. Because there's got to be more interest. <clears throat> Don't want my tile to be uninteresting. Come in there and out there and around and out here. Like such. And then I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to I'm going to do this, but see this one's bigger scale and this one's this one's the smallest of the of the curves, so it would have more of these. This one's a bigger scale and that one's a little bit bigger, but not as big as that. So I'm going to go ahead and draw this circle in my pencil so I have the right scale. So I don't goof the scale up. that big and this one would be you would barely see it would you see it at all you might not even see it, it would be over here no you wouldn't see it okay never mind so those are about that big so then that one is about that big okay
that's good I like that okay so I want a highlight here and it would be up in here somewhere it would be just a little bit right there Those look like olives at the moment, don't they? They do. And you would see a little bit of this right here. You wouldn't see much. I feel like you would see some of it. Okay. I'm going to use my 05 and I'm going to fill those. black but that's that's okay because that's it'll be offset by all those lines they're coming they just feel that just feels like overwhelming at the moment All this in Lately, I've been watching a lot of YouTube. I love YouTube. I've almost stopped watching television altogether. Probably only turn on the TV maybe once a week. It's crazy. Okay. Next step. But I've been watching a lot of YouTube, and now I've gone down the uh, flow art rabbit hole. Oh my goodness. It, it, I just, it's just so much fun to watch people pour paint on canvases is, or whatever substrate they're using. And to do a swatch, it just whoosh, flow out. So fun. So fascinating. <clears throat> All right, so. This one, the petal's going to be pretty good size. that I think 
I think so. Anyway, the flow art people. Just, just, if you're on YouTube, you want to see what I'm talking about, just, just use the search term flow art or, or dirty pour. That sounds awful, but, uh, I don't know if you guys ever seen it, but it's fascinating. Uh, a dirty pour is where people put more than one paint into a cup. So it's all, and it's really runny. They've got it uh, using various mediums to, to thin out their paint. And then they flip the cup upside down and uh, let it, all the paint just kind of seep out. And then they pull the cup up and it's all just starts to spread. Oh my goodness. Super, super fun to watch. Something like that. And then these ones will be almost where you don't see any of the actual petal part. It's just going to be lines. Is that because it's overlapping? Same here. one's there. Okay, now we figure out where those other lines go. Easiest one to figure out is going to be this middle one. One, two, three. I'm going to do four. Four. So it's going to go one, two, Three, four, like that. And one, two, three, four. And these ones will be going that way. Like that. Something like that. Oh my. That is full now. Okie dokie. I like it. Okay. <laughs> Floral waves. How is it going to live? Okay. Shading. This ought to be fun. There's a lot of overlap in this one. Oh, bother. Okay. Issue. Hold your horses. There's an issue. Instead of opening the top part of my pencil sharpener, I opened the part where you empty out the 
shreds. Ay, ay, ay. Okay. Glad you didn't see all that. You heard it, but you didn't see it. So, I'm safe, right? Okay. Apparently, it's time to empty my pencil sharpener because that was pretty full. See? I got pencil sharpener shreds all over the place. Alrighty. I think before I do that, I'm going to get rid of those few pencil ribbon marks because they're going not where I want shading. Not that you can see them, but I can. You know, I'm a... Perf I'm a particular when it comes to that. I don't want to say perfectionist because I'm not even close to being a perfectionist, but I'm particular. Okay, so I'm going to, I'm just going to go around the shape, I think, because there's so much going on here that I'm just going to emphasize the overlaps, and that should probably be more than enough to, to really give this tangle life. Shouldn't need a lot more. But I wanted to make sure I had a, a nice sharp pencil to do this with. Silly me. Okay. So there's that. I want these spots where the petal overlaps the ribbon. There. And I feel like, well, I don't know. I'm just gonna do that and start see see where else the it if it if it's calling to me to do anything else. Where the petals overlap the ribbon. like that. Try not to get onto the black. Like I said in my previous video, I just recently learned that if you shade on your black, you end up making a highlight on the black instead of making it dark where you really your plan was to make it dark and it didn't didn't look right and the reason it doesn't look right is because the graphite the shininess of the graphite actually makes a highlight on the black rather than than what you anticipated right there and right here okay let me just start with those spots that might be enough. Okay, blending stump. Let's see. It's really pretty, if I do say so myself. I like this. This is a good tangle. You guys picked a good one.
Now, the question is, do I want to put a little shading, just a tiny bit, I think right around, right around here. Around each of the flowers, just in the middle to make those petals go deep. I think so. Like that. Yeah. Yep, uh, that's what they need. See how that makes those petals more flower-like, like they're going inward? I like that. Just needed just a little tiny bit of something. And I wasn't sure exactly what, but that's what it was. Okay, I need to do that around the big ones. And I know why the big ones look funny to me now, uh, now that I've kind of studied it as I'm as I'm uh, shading. I didn't change the scale of my petals. My petals are the same size. They should have been bigger to make my scale correct, which is why I think they look funny. But that's okay. I mean, you know, it's 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 pattern based art. It's not drawing 101, but I couldn't figure out why I thought they looked a little strange and I'm trying to figure it out. And that is the reason. It's because my my scale is off. Needed to be a little bit Should have been a little bit fatter. But that's all right. Okay. I think that's good. Right like that. Yes like it. That's perfect. So this was Floral Waves. It wasn't really difficult. It was fun to do. I really enjoyed it. Yay! All right. Hope you guys are having a good day. Um, go out and do something nice for somebody else today. Do something nice for yourself because you deserve it. And I will See you tomorrow. Bye.